What is up, JCA fans? I thought I'd jump real quick into what I'm going to be using for my M4 for CQB's first ever night fight on February 16th. Um, if you didn't already know that that's what they were doing on that day, I'd go check it out on their uh, either their Facebook page or their homepage, airsoftcqb.com. Seems really awesome, and I'm really excited. So um, without further ado, I'll just jump right into it. So, as I said, I'm just going to be running my M4. Um, I'm going to be using my mids, of course. I want to stay stealthy on that on that night. I want to be able to sneak past people. I'm going to be wearing all black. I'm going to have, you know, disciplined trigger control. So, you know, only shoot when I know I can hit you. Uh, I've got a vertical foregrip, an angled foregrip, and a bipod on the bottom rail of the amped 12-inch wrist. Um, vertical foregrip for when I have to maneuver, angled foregrip for when I don't have the ability to use a bipod and I'm stationary, and then of course the bipod to make mounted shots. I've got the Mad Bull suppressor instead of an orange flash hider or the shark break, um, mainly because one it looks good, two um, it hides uh, an inner barrel within it, like a mounted inner barrel so you know why not got some rail covers on the side UTG rail covers no big deal pack holds the battery and then on top of it I've got this Russian made um, 720 IR infrared night vision scope Um, it's got two positions you know on and uh, infrared, this is where the uh, infrared is projected. Um, it also has a crosshair, and you use this dial to adjust the reticle. So, uh, yeah, focus wheel back here, all that good stuff. And then on the other side, I've got a red dot mounted on the side for when I enter the uh, lit up areas. Now you might be thinking, well, it's off on the side, that's going to be pointless, why would you even blah 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 blah. Um, I just did the red dot, so it's down, and then closer to the gun, and from back here, if I keep both eyes open, or even if I just keep my left eye open, I can do it, but um, it actually goes where the um, round hits, or in that relative location, I zeroed it in to, um, to around 100 yeah, right around 80 to 100 feet. I wasn't exactly sure. I just had to guesstimate. Could be a little bit further. Could be a little less. But um, it was longer than the length of my backyard, which is 76 feet. So, you know, close enough. So that's what I'm going to be running. Be able to stay back and or push up and sneak up behind people. and I mean, just sneak up and safety kill them without making a single loud noise. Um... And then if not, I can, you know, pick them off real nice and quiet and then drop back down. No one will know. No one will be the wiser. And then when it's time to engage in large firefights with multiple people in a lit up section of CQB, I can switch it over to my red dot and focus on that. I mean, I can even angle it ever so slightly and the hop up still acts ever so perfectly. And, uh, yeah, that'll be fun. I'm not going to be doing any kind of game footage. I'll probably do like in between sessions and then like explain to you what happened, mainly because it's going to be so dark and I don't have a night um, filter or a night vision camera. Sorry. I'm not filthy rich. I mean, that night scope's not even mine. It's my dad's. He just lets me use it. But um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. My next review will probably be on my friend Alex's. Wii 1911 or another sand table or tactical table. Um, not really sure yet, but uh, yeah. Uh, keep checking back every now and then, you know, all that good stuff. And um, yeah, depending on where you are, have a good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night.